Dako naman tayo down south pa rin. We have News 5 correspondent of One News Cebu Desk, Dale Israel. Dale, alam ko gusto natin pag-usapan ng lechon. No, marami pa rin tayong tanong tungkol sa lechon. Pero balita okay. ko, may ibang mga balita raw na kailangan pag-usapan. Yes, Lord. Uh, may, ha may hapon, Lord and Denise. A 10,000 peso reward was uh, offered by Toledo City Mayor Joy Perales to help find the suspect in the killing of 18-year-old Fatima May Tagapak last month. Mayor Perales wants the case solved and she wants to give out the reward for anyone who could give information or locate the suspect to the killing of the grade 12 student. Tagaktak was found dead last September inside a lodge in Toledo City. She was with a certain Lorben Kabugsan Laro, alias Richard. We still nowhere found uh, as of now. Laro is a native of Misamis Oriental, whom police had said also has a case of murder in their hometown. Still in Toledo City, Lord, an environment group protested the expansion project of this led TVI coal-fired power plant, claiming it did not comply with regulations and environmental laws. The Philippine Movement for Climate Justice posted on Facebook that they had uh, they held a protest with almost 100 residents from three barangays. But the barangay officials refuted the post of the PMCJ, saying it is all fake news because the ones that protested are not residents of Toledo City, but people coming from other areas in the country. In a joint statement by the barangay captains of Awihaw, Bato, and Kabituunan, the, the, PMC, uh, the PMCJ do not represent the sentiments of the community because TBI has helped them uh, create jobs and provide assistance to the barangays also. According to TBI, they have complied with the regulations set by the national government and the local government to ensure the health of the community and the protection of the environment. TBI engineer Noel Cabajo guarantees that there are no black smoke coming from the smokestacks on the two existing power plants who are in full operation to give 340 megawatts in the Cebu grid. He said they used new technology and an improved circulating fluidized bed technology where all residue stays inside to be converted and will not escape into the air. And here is one more and a bit of good news. Metro Cebu residents can breathe a sigh of relief for a while because the prices of electricity will be down 2 pesos and 35 centavos per kilowatt hour for the month of October and November. This is attributed to the drop also of the prices in the wholesale electricity spot market or West M where we sign electric uh, buys their supply. For ordinary household, that means uh, that they consume about 200 kilowatt per hour. They should expect savings of up to 472 pesos in the next billing. Design Electric Chief Operating Officer Raul Lucero, however, cautioned the consumers to continue to save power, especially during the holidays. Salamat. One New Cebu Desk, Dale Israel, ang editor din ng The Freeman.